my name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. Guys, this is it. You know why you're here. I know why you're here. You know why I'm here. And you know when it comes to Resident Evil, you ain't going to no IGN. You ain't going to no GameSpot or GameStop or Polygon. You ain't going to no Mark Plyer or Pewdie Poop or Giant Bomb or Angry Joe or Maximilian Dude or Matt McMuscles, The Rad Brad, MK Fire and ICLS, Geekbox, Kinda Funny, What's Good Games or The Residents of Evil? You don't go to that? What? <laughs> I don't think so. Good, you know damn well there was only one place and one person that will bring you the true experience of the resident of evil. And that is your boy, Drew. What's going on, guys? <laughs> enough joking around, enough joking around. I just gotta, I always gotta get your attention. I always gotta get your attention right off the bat before I shut the hell up. I don't know why I gotta, I just gotta bring out the energy for the intro because I, I can't, I'm not really good on a mic for when I, I can't just go on and on and on. So I got to bring it at the beginning. I got to bring it all out there. And then I just shut up for the rest of the whole freaking game. Damn, you ain't listening to any of that garbage. All right, guys. I'm going to shut up because you know what time it is. <laughs> I'm ready to play me some Resident Evil. You guys ready? Oh, I'm ready, man. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Should I do it? No, we're playing it on easy. Playing it on easy. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. 
Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Oh. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember him. I can't blame her. Yeah, that's a relationship. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Thought she was talking to me. Yeah, that's a relationship I wouldn't want to be in. Just one little slip of the tongue. There's nothing wrong with my memory. There's nothing wrong with my memory. Okay, so the only thing I've done was I messed around with the camera a bit, and I think I'm gonna see. I turned it off. Where is it? I turned this off, but I can't really decide if I want to keep it or not. It kind of, when I'm moving slow, it looks pretty nice, but I just. I worry about getting people, you know, dizzy and all that type of stuff. Because I had a, a few years ago, if there was there was a moment in my life where I thought I was going to have to quit playing games. Because I was just getting just dizzy, just playing almost everything. But now, going back to a lot of games, I can see why. With the 30 frames, glitchiness, and just not looking so good and all that type of stuff. But, whatever. but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep camera camera wobble on for the moment but I'm probably gonna end up turning it off so let's just take a good look let's see what we got going oh and by the way I ain't gonna be running around through this shit if you wanna see some guy moving around like a madman just I, look, I can't even move the camera fast then Think you're gonna have to get out of here but please don't give me a chance give me a chance see it's all about the atmosphere that's what that's what this channel tries to that's what i want to bring i want to get you in to the feels i got to get deep in there you know i got to get in them guts 
I gotta get in them, gotta get in the soul and give you that, that good vibe, that feeling that only video games can do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be moving slow. I'm gonna be looking at stuff. I'm gonna be exploring. I'm gonna be just admiring the environment. So I hope you guys are okay with that. So I'm gonna shut up and I'm just gonna get a good look around this house a bit. Let's, see, let's check this out. Nice, nice. And he's got a, he's got some LED strips on the back of the TV. Looking good. It's not synced though, so he's got that cheap crap. I'm gonna leave that on because it's nice and cozy. I like being cozy. This looks so good. I tell you, the Resident Evil engine, man, they they are just evolving this engine to be just a complete, just a benchmark for game company and developers and engines and all that. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together. All right? Oh. I miss mine being that small. It's not fair. It's not fair, man. I want mine to be that small. Mine's going to gonna be in junior high this year. It sucks. I'm only 32. Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has? Hurry up and put Rose to sleep, will you? Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Jeez. See, she gives me the creeps. After what we've been through with her, I don't know if I could stick around. You know what I mean? Especially if she's just all, just all snappy. Like that. I mean, I'm just walking to the sink, and she's like, don't get close to me as I'm cooking. Do you see that knife right next to me? It's the same knife that I put through your damn hand. So get away from me. Let me cook this rice. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. <sighs> I do want another one. We both want another one. Just, uh... There's too many people out there, too many people I know, too many people that I've seen growing up who just want to have kids and don't really prepare for it, you know? So they're working at some terrible job and just stuck in a trap. And Her birthday will be here before we know it. They grow up fast. Let's just enjoy it while we can. So yeah, I would like another one. I would like maybe two more, who knows. But I'm not gonna do it till I know I can do it right. So let that just be a little bit of advice. Just my own personal advice. Yeah, I don't know about this camera wobble. It's not too bad. It's gonna get worse. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Hey! Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. Jeez. He says keep it down, and he's like, just making sure it's locked! What's wrong with you, Ethan? I'm trying to be awake till 3 a.m.? <laughs> It's probably just the kitchen. Aww. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. I don't think that baby has a freaking clue what that book is about. The baby can't even understand you, Ethan. What's wrong with you? having a mute
music box that big in my house. Your mama and I love this song so much. Almost there, honey. It's a pretty chill little house. I could chill in here. I could stay here for a while. What is this couch good for? Why are you gonna... What the hell are you gonna sit here for? Unless if you're having a bed and breakfast or something? Try to do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Uh, is this just your, just your hoard room? Where you put all your trash. Curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th onto the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by the leak of natural gas that had built up in the mud rock under the area. What the hell? Jack Baker, 57, and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. Hmm. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Everyone's forgotten about this already. What the hell has Ethan been doing since this incident? I mean, is, does, is this current times? Is this 2021? Where did he get this house? I don't know. Who cares? I guess Chris Redfield and his crew covered it up. Damn. This bathroom looks kind of... It's nice, but it's kind of strange. Is there like a... Like a toilet right by the door? You ain't gotta... You gotta put the toilet... In the back corner. You need that that privacy. You need that coziness. You need that security of being alone and just experience the your mind from within. Okay, I think we've seen everything. Let's go put baby to bed. It's not fair, man. I really miss those days. And those days go by too fast, because all you're doing is working. Whoa, shit, the freaking door just like, I thought someone just pulled that thing open. Survivalist. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Okay, so it has the are these books he's actually read? Does is he like a, a gun specialist now?
I wish it could stay like this forever. Yeah. I do, but I don't. You want to see him grow, but you don't. Just, just, you just don't. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. You see what I'm... See, I can't... I'm sorry, Mia, but... I think we need to... Need to take a little break. But we finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up, pro bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but... Can we really just forget about everything and pretend it didn't even happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? I mean, we owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. That's everything. Can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. Time for bed. Did you just hear what he said again? What he got interrupted by himself? He's just gonna say she's scary again. I'm telling you. This woman's just gonna be standing there at the door. She's ready. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Yeah, has anyone had a kid before? I I wish it was that easy. Just set her down and her... N no blanket, no nothing. You don't even give a damn. Just leave her. It's one amazing six-month-year-old. It's father of the year right there. Ethan! Have you finished putting her to bed yet? Yes, just, just don't yell at me, okay? I was just walking around with her. Just talking to her, helping her get comfortable. Just don't yell at me. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. Did you see that? She it's tried chuba to de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, She's crazy. you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. Her face looks a lot different. You really seven. have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just, Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. She either aged you, 10 years me, or they got Rose. a different actress. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- Whoa! <sighs> Mia, get down! And she looked like she was about to turn or something. Did you see her just Mia. standing there? Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry. What? Why? Go on, move!
All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday four o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey now. Think positively, alright? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well then what are you worried about? Look, look she's gonna be fine, I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just- Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? just happened and how did I get here like it just oh okay it, it just happens it's useless mission objectives eliminate target recover body secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters move the two Winters to site C for further investigation at least two transport officers to accompany them. Oh man, here we go. Oh, I'm getting the feels. You getting excited? I'm getting, I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, take a deep breath. We're just gonna, like I said, we're not running through this. We're taking it slow. We're going for the atmosphere. We're going for the feels, we're going for the chills and the spookies. And here we go. Ready? Let's do it. I think it would be better if I turned it off. Yeah, I, I think so. 
we'll just we'll leave we'll we'll turn it off for a while and if we don't even think about it we'll just leave it okay let's see let's see i, I kind of like i like that i just think it would be better this way so nobody gets dizzy or anything from all the shaky cam all right I'm gonna be quiet. let's get back to it you ready <laughs> <laughs> Dude, lift your flashlight up. I can't see a sh See wait. No, I can't even see where the car is. I think it's right there. Those things. Not too far in. Not too far in. Let's go. Let's go a little deeper. <laughs> oh man, I love this feeling. How the heck did you do that, Ethan? How hard did you grab that barbed wire? What the hell is wrong with this guy? to push that car back onto its wheels. I mean, you gotta at least try. I mean, that car might have still been able to drive. Oh, <laughs> 
shit. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? We got birds committing suicide in these woods? Oh, shit. Getting too deep. I cannot see a thing. I cannot see. Oh my god. Oh man. Woo! I'm getting the feels. I wanna okay. Let's let's just let's I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, so let's let's try it. I have no idea where I'm going. I can't see anything. This dude can't hold his flashlight up. Whoa! I saw something. I know I did. I think it's uh, I think it's better when it's off. Little piggy. Are they alive? Oh, I don't think they are. 
Oh, crap. There's a ton of them in there. Please don't let something pop out through the window. Ooh, man. Alright, here we go. Oh, shit. Stay open, please. Oh man, I can't see anything. If you thought it was dark before, now it's, it's gonna get worse. Just please, let the door stay open. Oh my god. Daggered in there. Uh, he just turn it off. He ain't released the drain. Oh my god! Holy crap! I can't even see the door. that it's almost 3 a.m. right now did I did I for, did I forget to mention that <laughs> oh my god I really 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 wanted to use my camera for this I'm so tired of not doing let's plays for you guys with when I'm not using my camera. I just I just do not have the the right space to do it. I don't even have anywhere to put up a camera. Nowhere that would be a good enough spot at least. Shit. Doing everything I can financially to to get the room I want so I can start doing this stuff with a camera. So I can do these let's plays correctly. But I still like doing it this way. It's just that everybody wants to see my face. Why do you, why do people want to see your face? You want to watch the game or you want to see some dude's face? But nah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, I need to quit talking. I'm, I'm trying to just trying to calm the nerves. I'm trying to calm the nerves. Got some hairs on the back of my neck. They're uh, pretty stiff right now.
We're going too deep. I don't like it here. I really, I really, really got the... Oh, man, I got the feels right now. Actually, it actually helps me. Never mind. Never mind. I'm tense again. Oh, what the fuck is that? What is that? God. The music stopped. Do you know what that means? You know what that means when we turn around, don't you? Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna close my eyes. And I'm gonna let you guys tell me what is behind me. You ready? <sighs> God, you know something's there. You know something's there. We gotta take a step forward. Okay. Okay. Let's take a couple steps forward. <laughs> Just get. No, I just took a hard fall. What'd you see? What was that? What was it? What? It's over there. Oh. It's just the dresser. Oh, thank God. Was a rat or something that knocked it over. <laughs> what 
who did all this? Oh, well, at least it's daytime now. That was the, that was one fast sun that rose. We're only in the house for like 10 minutes. Oh man, that was, that was the, that's the feeling I like to have in Resident Evil. I hope we get some more of that. That's why 7 was so amazing. I mean, and I, and I still, I still am going to say I want them to remake Resident Evil 1 just like this. I'm telling you, going through that mansion with the zombies in first person, as dark as it is, with a flashlight, oh man, it would be amazing. Please, someone cut out a clip of me saying this and post it to Capcom Resident Evil's Twitter or something. I don't know. I, I understand why so many people like the third person over the shoulder camera view, but to me, I just, I just don't get scared when it's that type of camera. It, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I've just played too many games, but I just don't get scared when it's that type of, of camera angle. Dead Space wasn't, I mean, it was ten, Dead Space, all that stuff, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, all that stuff. Resident Evil 2 remake, tense moments, creepy atmosphere, but actual just afraid to turn around, fear. I didn't I didn't get any of that. I'm sorry. I just can't make up my mind with this. I just can't. Like, I wish I could adjust how the intensity of the camera wobble. Whoa. Oh, I thought that was like a tripwire. Oh, some, some brightness. Where the hell am I? Oh, man. Awesome.